Argosole is a professional wall formwork system consisting of expanded polystyrene with galvanized metal stays set in foam. In the production process, the metal stays, eight of them for each unit, are placed in the form and then in a single operation, the two polystyrene slabs are set in foam. After the foaming in the machine, the ready-made Argosole formwork units are ejected. Continuous production checks both at the factory and from outside in line with the permit regulations of the German Institute for Structural Engineering ensure the uniform quality of Argosole formwork units. The standard units are packed in a bundle each of about three square meters so that they can be carried by hand with a weight of approximately 15 kilograms per bundle. House building usually starts with excavation of a foundation trench. After the excavation of the trench, work starts on the preparations for the foundations of the base plate. Connecting bars must be built into the base plate in line with the structural engineering requirements and the Argosol walls which must bear the pressure from the soil. After completing or building in the structural steel mesh, the base plate is produced using the prescribed quality of concrete. An important factor in the problem-free setting of the first unit is a level, well-spread base plate or strip foundation. If required, a waterproof leveling layer should be applied. Starting from the corner, set the Argosol units on the base plate. The thicker heat insulation of the standard units must be on the outside. On the inside corners, the thinner insulation slabs of all corner units are on the outside. If there is a requirement for insulation against increasing dampness, this is to be applied before setting the first layer on the base plate. Particularly, Suitable for this are sealing compounds based on cement or bitumen sealing insulation. Sheets of plastic or bitumen board can also be used. Set the elements so closely to each other by tapping with the palm of the hand or some other aid, such as a short plank with a handle, so that there are no gaps between the individual layers. At the end of the walls, close off the units with an end piece. Measure the raster dimensions up to the entrados or the end of the wall and separate the corresponding piece from a standard unit using a handsaw. Partial pieces can easily be reused. Remaining pieces with fewer than three metal connecting stays should only be used in the upper layers for structural engineering reasons. Never use partial pieces without metal stays. Always cut the units in the grooves provided that are suited to a raster measurement of 2.5 centimeters. Bring the lintel units to the desired length by pushing together the dovetail joints formed on the front. In the support area, cut out the floor of the lintel units as far as the entrados insulation so that the lintel ends do not lie on the rigid foam. Place the lintel units on both supports. The required reinforcement of the lintel unit varies depending on the load and span. For calculating, take the net cross section with a width of 13.3 centimeters and a height of 19 centimeters. The dimensions and lengths of the reinforcements are to be taken from structural engineering. The 
weight of the concrete is to be absorbed by supporting the lintel. In order to align the auger sole formwork units exactly, it is a good idea to further reinforce the wall. For this purpose, the braces developed specific, specially by auger sole for this type of construction are suitable. The corkscrew type anchor spirals supplied are screwed into the form material through the holes in the profile plate of the lentils. The braces are attached to the concrete base. Using this aid, the wall units are put together can be braced very simply or set perpendicularly. For the supply of wet concrete for filling the walls, Augusol recommends ReadyMix Company, which has a national distribution system. For filling the wall, concrete of grade B25 with a particle size of 8 is recommended. It then makes sense to fill the concrete into the foamwork units by using an infinitely variable adjustable automatic concrete pump with a 60 millimeter end hose. The Augusol wall is filled up to the floor level in about three applications of concrete. 